The Photograph Collection provides a wonderful glimpse into Houston history and social events over the years, such as the grand opening of the famous Shamrock Hotel. The hotel opened on St. Patrick's Day in 1949 on 15 landscaped acres at the intersection of Main Street and Holcomb Boulevard. The Shamrock Hotel was uh, built by Glenn McCarthy, who was a wildcatter in Houston, and in many ways personified what people perhaps still think of Texans to, the, to this day. It was fabulous in every way, perhaps overdone to some degree. The Emerald Room was the big ballroom, all de decorated in emerald green as a tribute to his Irish ancestry. And uh, there were many exciting events that took place there. Approximately 50,000 attended what's reputed to have been the wildest party in Houston history. McCarthy was wearing dark glasses to hide a black eye, which he reportedly got in a fist fight when he met the train filled with celebrities who came for the party. The swimming pool was a 50-meter Olympic-sized pool with 3-meter and 10-meter diving boards, big enough to accommodate a boat pulling water skiers when they did shows in it. It was just one of the great features of Houston. They had various restaurants and shops and so forth in the hotel, which were fun to go to. The Cork Club was a nightclub in the hotel, and they had top flight uh, nightclub entertainment. The Shamrock became so popular with the city's social set that it was affectionately referred to as the Houston Riviera. Everything was pretty much a little extreme, but that was typical of Glenn McCarthy, who was known to be Edna Ferber's prototype for Jet Rink in Giant, which was her novel that was later made into the movie. It was a place to be seen. It was just a very glamorous place to be in Houston. It was, it was unique. The once glamorous Shamrock Hotel, which had become a symbol of Houston, fell on hard times by the 1980s. It was demolished in 1987 and replaced with a parking lot.